What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Monday, May 23rd, and this is my second video in the next 24 hours that has happened that I'm talking about Trip and Ape Tribe. Now, Trip and Ape Tribe is something that is highly anticipated, and it's going to be released in terms of their minting in the next 24 hours. Now, we're going to dive deep into what those price predictions could be for the floor price, what could happen during the minting phase, and also why you should probably be excited or maybe cautious around this collection. Now, as always, be sure to watch this video through its entirety. You do not want to miss a single thing as I have a lot of different things I want to share with you personally, my beliefs on where this project can go. So with that said, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please, be careful and invest safely. So with that said, guys, let's go ahead and begin. So Trip and Ape Tribe is now officially on Magic Eden. It's officially live. So before we weren't sure where this was going to be launched on, was it going to be launched on Magic Eden or Hydra Launchpad? Now Hydra Launchpad, we know, has launched uh, projects such as the Reptilian NFT project and also sets on Crack. But this is now going to be legitimately launched on Magic Eden. Now that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable because I, I like Magic Eden, I've minted on Magic Eden, and I just trust the platform. So I don't feel like there's gonna be a rug pull or at least that my funds are gonna be stolen, at least just in my own opinion. But at least now today, this is live and I'm glad to show this with you guys right now. Now next up, you can also vote to upvote the drop. Uh, I don't see the case in this. I mean, for me, I just did it just because, just to support the project. But if you want to upvote the project to show your support, who knows, maybe the team may see that as a promising thing and maybe you may see the benefits later, maybe not. It doesn't really matter, but that's something that I want to share with you guys as well. I also want to show you some different artworks. Now, there's so many different artworks that could happen, and I'm just going to show these briefly because, I mean, right now they could be showing just the best ones, right? There's a lot of different artworks that are not that great, and in my own opinion, that's okay. The thing is, it's up to you to decide which artworks you want to go for, but they have different common and uncommon ones, uh, and also a different rare one as, as well. And we're going to talk about those traits in a little bit. Next up, this clip was just released within the past 24 hours. Now, Trip and Ape Tribe did share a video, and basically, this is nothing to be too crazed about. Basically, in this video, uh, it's showing how much people are wanting and aping into this, getting ready for the mint, knowing that's going to sell out uh, during the minting phase. But uh, it's basically saying over and over, we're not a cult, we're not a cult, we're not a cult. But it's uh, really good advertising. It's really good publicity to help build momentum for the NFT release. And kudos to them because I'm excited for this project to release. So definitely get ready for that. Next up, yesterday, D Gods had a little AMA with the Trip and Ape Tribe founders. And this was a really great conversation. I'm just going to sum it down uh, in simple ways. And that is what traits you should look out for when the minting phase happens or when it goes on the secondary marketplace on OpenSea and on Magic Eden. And what I think was really captivating was the founders' specific wants, specific highlights, and those traits were these. Uh, some of them were wearing a mushroom head or having psychedelic mushroom uh, fur. Also, there was one that he particularly liked the most that could be most sought after. And that is the one where it is the NFT of the ape who is in a glass fur and has orange juice within that fur. And if I show you down here what that looks like, is simply this one. Now, the reason this one really captivated him, this the reason really he liked it is because he knew a person back then who took some serious drugs or whatever, and he just imagined that his body was made of orange juice and that he felt like if he tipped over that he would spill. That's a psychedelic drug. That's a psych psychedelic experience. But he really dug that as well. But also, this is this, uh, there's so many different ways you can describe, you know, mushroom skin colors like this one right here. But there's also certain traits like having a little bunny on the side or maybe having like a little eyeball. But again, there's so many different things that you could look out for. The most sought after project, I think, and most sought after trait is one where a monkey is wearing like an Illuminati uh, hoodie or a drape over itself. And that is because there's only 10 of them, he says, and this is that right there, and it has that little symbol. So he says in his own words, there are only around 10. So I think this is actually going to be the most sought after piece. So, you know, let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to be the most rare uh, collection out of this. So I want to hear your thoughts. 
And next up, we're kind of seeing what the community is feeling about this. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but we have seen a slight dip in some NFT projects. And this one right here, Eddie said, seeing OK Bear holders mad about uh, people are dumping their floor for hype mint. And so basically, you know, <laughs> uh, this is saying, you know, first time, this is one that from that one film that came out with James Franco. And basically, you know, if you don't know, the OK Bears floor price has actually been dipping quite a bit because people are taking their profits, mainly because they want to get a lot of those profits to buy uh, one of these apes. And we don't know how much these tripping apes are going to be. Now, if we look at the overall chart, this is what it looks like. So just like a couple days ago, or actually, I'm sorry, a few days ago, uh, we saw an all-time high peak of around 258 Solana as its floor price. And then it started to take a slight dip after that, maybe in anticipation for the trip in Ape Mint. And so right now it's currently sitting at 183, which is kind of, uh, we haven't seen that price until like uh, at least the beginning of May. So over a whole month, it's actually been above that. But still, like now we're seeing a slight dip and people are now taking their profits. But again, if you are a big fan of OK Bears, and this is a great time for you to buy in because who knows how far this will go. And I'm pretty bullish on this project itself. But let's not just look at OK Bears, let's look at other ones like Sets on Crack. Now, Sets on Crack has kind of seen the same thing. Now, just within a few days as well, it's gone up to almost a 72 Solana. Now it's down to 50, so that has experienced a huge drop, obviously in anticipation. So, you know, we're seeing that more listings are increasing, but who knows if this will go down after the mint. Maybe there's gonna be a huge sell-off. But you know what's really interesting? There's a project out there that hasn't taken a slight dip, that continues to hold strong, regardless of all the NFT collections, regardless of OK Bears, or any of these trip and ape minting stages, and that is D-Gods. D-Gods has not changed at all. It's still on a crazy trajectory, heading towards the upside. Now look at these strong green candles for D-Gods. That means there's mad strength in the buying pressure of these. Just goes to show how much D-Gods and Frankie D-Gods as a founder are pushing the whole Solana ecosystem. So this is how D-Gods has done such a great job. Kudos to everybody who's hold on. But also just keep in mind their, their listings have actually gone down. So they haven't been affected by this and it could be still a huge competitor to a Trip and Ape a tribe. So keep that in mind. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's understand what the minting is gonna be like tomorrow. Now, just based on this, it said that the mint will take place exclusively on Magic Even Launchpad on Tuesday, May 24th, which is tomorrow. Now the pre-sale will begin around 320 uh, UTC or Tuesday, May 24th at 8.20 a.m. Now you have to adjust your local time and it will last around four hours. Now the trial subject whitelisted are guaranteed one mint, the OGs are guaranteed two mints, and the Shaman VIPs are guaranteed three mints at around uh, 3.25 Solana. Then the public mint will happen at 7.20 p.m. UTC, which is around 12.20 uh, uh, p.m. PST. And so keep that in mind, we're going to be minting it in a public sale around for Solana. Now I'm going to share with you my perspective. I think that the minting for the uh, whitelist people are going to completely sell out. I don't think there's going to be any left for the public. And I believe that the bots are going to scoop the remaining assets. So Obviously, the secondary sale is going to be going for a much higher price. We don't know how much that is. And is it going to be 20 Solana, 15 Solana, 25 Solana? We don't really know. But I guarantee that there's going to be some for sale because people, since they minted so many, they might as well just sell it and just take some profit there. So keep that in mind. Evaluate yourself. Have some funds ready. But uh, there's going to be a crazy bloodbath for this NFT. It, again, there are some people who are not hyped on this. They think it's just a rug pull and that it's going to go below mint price. I don't personally think so. But if that is, a lot of people are going to buy in. And who are those people? Let's look at some other people who are actually making jokes about this. So Solana got us saying, I'm buying all the Trip and Ape NFTs below 19.99 Solana and won't dump on my Discord or followers. Only in response to this one, Angelio said, buying all the Trip and NFTs below 20. And the funny thing is, even after this, Janik.Soul, who predicted OK Bears was going to skyrocket, even made a joke to say he was going to bid and buy something a cent less than Solana Goddess. So they thought that was really hilarious. But again, I want to hear your thoughts down below what you think the floor price is going to be for these Trip and Ape uh, Tribe NFTs. Uh, I certainly don't know. And the thing is, just be very careful when you're bidding out there. And I want to hear your thoughts on 
if you feel like this project is definitely worth it or if it's just all hype. Uh, because there's a lot of speculation out there. Is this something that you feel is just a waste of time? Or do you think that this thing's gonna actually moon? Do you think this is actually gonna compete against even the top collections like D-Gods and surpass anything? Maybe it's gonna have more trading volume or maybe more sales transactions than OK Bears. Could it set a new record? Or is this just dead on arrival? Well guys, I wanna hear your thoughts down below. Let me know your comments. I'd love to hear about it. And I'll keep you up all to date with everything Trip and Ape Tribe. I hope to score one of these and I will be sharing that on this channel if I end up doing it. If I don't, then that means I didn't score any. So guys, as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.